In today's episode of Coding Corner, we are going to be looking at CHF and how to code a specific scenario. Mrs. Jones woke up feeling lousy. She was experiencing increased shortness of breath and she noticed her lower legs were much more swollen than they were a few days ago. The past several days, she has been extremely fatigued and her husband noticed that her fingertips looked almost a shade of blue. When Mrs. Jones got out of bed this morning, she had difficulty ambulating across the room and became unable to catch her breath. Her husband called 911 and she was later admitted to the hospital with a diagnosis of decompensated diastolic heart failure. Other diagnoses are noted to be permanent AFib, hypertension, end-stage heart failure, and a history of combined heart failure. How would you code this scenario? Well, Hannah, on this one, I have to consider several pieces of guidance in order to code this scenario correctly. The first piece of guidance I'm going to consider is that we code hypertension prior to CHF. This is due to an assumed relationship. So due to that guidance, uh, the first code I'm going to code is I11.0, and that is hypertensive heart disease with CHF. The next piece of guidance I'm going to consider is acute on chronic. The diastolic heart failure is noted as decompensated, and this is defined as an acute exacerbation of a condition. It can also be of a chronic condition. So with that guidance, I'm going to code I50.33, which is acute on chronic diastolic heart failure. The third thing I'm going to consider is the history of systolic heart failure. This will be captured as I50. So the thing I'm considering here is that this patient has combined heart failure, but because the diastolic is the only one that is documented as acute, I'm going to code that as I50.33. So I still have to capture the chronic condition of the systolic heart failure, which is captured as I-5022. So just note in this scenario that you have to distinguish these two because the systolic is not noted as acute. Next, I'm going to code the end-stage heart failure. This is a code also guidance. So it could be coded prior to the CHF, but because it's an, an acute exacerbation, I'm going to code that first. The end-stage heart failure is, is captured as I-5084. And lastly, permanent AFib will be captured as I-4821.